Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld with no expansions, no DLC. We have a base that's probably got too much going on for our seven people, but uh, things are going pretty lovely right now. Uh, I'm very happy with it. In fact, I'm wondering about increasing the difficulty. I don't necessarily want this Let's Play to go forever. Um, in fact, I think, it was it like, what was it, six episodes in? I was like, okay, well, this might be the end of the tutorial section. I don't know if we're going to keep it going. And then here we are, this is what, episode 16 at this point? Let's increase it all the way up to losing is fun. So, with the higher difficulties, what's the difference? Well, the size of the raids you're going to get is going to be multiplied. Um, you might get less yield out of things, depending on what difficulty you're in. Um, infection rates can be higher. Animal uh, revenge things can be higher. You can actually see the actual difference of things over here. So, we were on, um, we were on Strive to Survive. And now we're going to losing is fun. You can see some things shift over here. See these numbers change? There we go. So I'm just going to set it to losing is fun without customizing it. And there we are. So things are definitely going to get a little hairier, which is why it's going to be that much more important for me to not overload my workers as much as I've been doing. Um, because we, there's lots of jobs that have been falling under the cracks. Plus, it's increasing our wealth more than we need to because we're producing too much stuff. But again, we are trimming back on that. No sowing over there, just fine. Yeah, we want a little bit of hay grass, a little bit of heel root. It's probably too many drugs, but we'll see what kind of big sale we can do. We don't have enough room for all this stuff either. All right, so, you know, maybe maybe I do need the caravan. Well, the question is, are we making... I mean, we're making the drugs. Where would that fall under in a category? Right here, I think, is the drug category. Smoke leaf, raw... Yeah, so we need more people to craft more of those, and then maybe we'll just caravan out. We can give some to our hostile neighbors and then try to trade with them for more good stuff. Bob White in such a bad mood. You're in serious pain. Your friend Skydive, forgot about that. And yeah, you are currently sick. That is true. So we will try to tend you as often as possible. Wait, why are you putting dirt out here, Bob? You really have nothing real to do. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, and I guess you're caught up on your hauling as well. Okay, Berg and Labre then, I'll also do this so you can go back to more normal jobs. Ooh, a quest. Collection of valuable items not far from us. Glitter World Medicine Reinforced Barrel. Five mechanoids. Mm, we could do something with our EMP grenades. Glitter World Medicine is very strong. It's very strong. On the other hand, it's very unlikely that we get through a fight over there without some kind of injury. Uh, although we do have armor. Ooh, research hospital bed. Yes, we're going to follow up the hospital bed with a vitals monitor. Now, that is interesting to consider. Now. Yeah, I'm going to go with plan. I guess I'll get a dormitory set up over here. Another excellent bed. Install there. And I guess I'll get these beds put up over here. Okay. I believe Fob will take care of that. I think moving things counts as a construction job, although you're sleeping right now. Makes sense. You know, you're sick. You're not feeling good. Uh, so some of the meat and stuff is going to decay over here, which makes sense because it's not frozen. I could make a bunch of meals and then go sell them. That is a way to make money. But yeah, mostly we just have to just cycle down on some of our things here. It's been a little excessive. Okay. So you are going to now start to construct a furniture hospital bed like that. And we're going to move this light. Move it over here. It's going to annoy me that it's not going to be centered in a room, but what I'm going to want is a vitals monitor in the middle there once it gets researched. So we'll just go ahead and get that ready. Um, these beds are honestly good. I think I could probably just deconstruct these. I don't think we're going to need that many beds. Well, you know what? Hold on. Hold on. Let's leave them here so that there are hospital beds until the new hospital beds get set up. Okay. EMP grenade build is done. So we've got a couple over there ready to go. Vort's going back to doing some research on our, yeah, on our medical thing, which is great. Okay, fob's up. I'm gonna go eat a fine meal. I mean, at least the fine meals are helping with moods. Decent bedroom. 
extremely comfortable. Yeah, some of these things are good to see. Have a little social time here, increase the recreation. But yeah, I was gonna say there's still a really good chance that you will have a break because it's it's really hard for us to get the mood up over here, especially with Fob, who's very neurotic, right? Um, Berg is going on an insult spree because of brutal outdoors. Oh, are you an undergrounder? Oh, you are. Mediocre barracks, undergrounder outdoors. Yeah, just too much time spent outdoors. Now, what's going to be annoying about this is it's going to hurt everyone else's mood. Oh, I didn't realize. Okay, we have tons of statues ready to go. Um, I'm going to put one in the research room because someone spends a lot of time in there. I'm going to get the other two here installed in the dining room. So we will get more mood buffs from that, which is going to be good. Any other statues just sitting around here? I don't see one. We might have been lucky to catch those. Honey working on the assault rifle. There you go, medical beds. So um, the medical beds, what's different? So the infection chance multiplier from the room is the same because it is just the room. But you can see here, Surgery success factor, immunity gain chance. Uh, it's got great rest effectiveness as well. I mean, this happens to be an excellent quality one that we built as well, which is wonderful. And it is like maybe that much more important that we have really high quality hospital beds. See, this one only came out normal. So if we compare here, surgery success chance is under 100%. We still get a boost immunity gain factor, which is nice. But yeah, I'm gonna deconstruct that. Also, are we actually out of power? Or are you just not connected to anything? Oh, you just got moved and it took a second to reprocess it. Wow, Berg's still going around and salting. That is very annoying. Because, yeah, it's going to lead to a lot of mood debuffs for other people. Yeah, that is disappointing. Wait, Bob, where are you going? Oh, wait, were we out of wood? Oh, we were out of wood! Oh, I didn't realize that. We deconstructed the beds and used that for traps. Well, let's chop a few trees here. Again, I probably designate too much at once. Just a little bit. Yeah, Bob, I'm sorry about your poor mood. Okay, these traps are all up anyway, yeah. So we'll keep a little bit of wood kicking around, but yeah, we definitely don't need a lot. And let's rebuild these beds. I'm gonna queue up all of these and then we'll see which ones. I'm gonna want them to be, let's say at least good quality. It would be nice if the hospital were getting cleaned as well. There we go, that one's good. So two excellents, a good. And this is enough hospital beds. I think with the amount of people we've got, three is probably plenty. But I'll, I'll go ahead. Well, yeah, I'll let this one still get built. Let's break risks. Yeah, insulted. Uh, yeah, actually, you're going to be fine. Oh, you're just over your, your catharsis. Interesting. You were doing the insult thing, but I guess you got insulted back. I mean, fair enough. But yeah, so Berg's going to have catharsis, so they're actually going to be fine once they wake up. Still ignoring the warm clothes. Got a little bit of wood kicking around. Got these traps ready to go. I might replace these walls with something sturdier, but I'm not really going to feel like in a hurry for that. I might double up this wall here first, actually, as a priority. So we've doubled up this, this. Fob's throwing a tantrum. Last straw was insulted. He is going to smash some furniture, which he'll be responsible for rebuilding afterwards. The nice thing about this is they don't always, like, necessarily destroy something. You know, they'll just smack it a couple times to do some damage. I didn't realize they hit things in a stockpile. That's annoying. Actually, I don't really need this fence over here because we've got this wall. So I don't really don't have to rebuild that. This is going to be annoying because it's going to open up the pen. There you go. All over, done having the tantrum. He's like, oh, geez, I'm sorry. Let me go and repair all this stuff. How'd that hospital bed come out? All right, it came out good. We're one third of the way, maybe a quarter of the way to our medical monitor as well. Darcy doing some cleaning. I mean, if you're going to clean anywhere, can you like just clean the hospital, please? And over here. Um, it does clean like an area. I think it cleans the tiles adjacent to it as well when you give a command. Is there no floor at all under here? Well, it's supposed to be marble tile. All right, got missed. The marble tile ask over here. We still have some marble. We do. So we are using some of it for the statues now. And I'm not complaining about that. It's quite good. Um, let's put a statue in the hospital. So anyone who's stuck spending some time there, they're already going to be miserable. And at least we can help offset a little bit with some art in here. Okay. Yeah, we kind of need more traders to show up. Unload some more of our goods. 
<clears throat> more meat rotting away. That's okay. We've got more than we need. Might have been able to just burn off some of the excess as well. Okay, tons more cotton. This place is not going to be replanted. We have a lot of cotton. I guess we are caught up on clothing. I could research carpeting. Put some carpets down. Uh, carpets are flammable. They are quite pretty. I actually don't know how the beauty compares. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna pull way back. It does feel like for a while there's like a big deficit of cloth, clothing or cloth, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh man, I got way more than I need. Yeah, I don't I don't like this. This is a bunch of wealth sitting around, and it's filling up my stockpile, which isn't great. I could just sell some random clothes next time there's a or cloth next time there's a vendor that comes by, but I don't know. We'll see. I'm surprised how chill things are right now. So yeah, I could go. Oh, what is? This? Oh, that's the item stash. Yeah. I still don't like that. I am thinking of a, a vending caravan. Well, a gifting caravan for the neighbor. And then also vending. Not that there's anything we really need from them right now, but... Now, this drug lab, if we want to make... Because we should be able to make Yayo. We have... Actually, no, we don't, do we? We have smoke leaf. I guess we haven't had a cycloid leaf. Oh, they are here. Oh, they're unroofed and stuff. Okay, why is no one... Crafting. That's smoke leaf. Yayo? No, there's no skill thing. I think it's just a crafting job. So, Labre, what are you up to? Oh, you're cutting stone chunks. Right, we did use some. Oh, bad temperature. Is it cold in here? Oh, it is too. You know what we should do? I don't have enough vents. This room here isn't being vented. And we can do this, and then we can join that as well. And actually, we don't have vents that are connecting this, and we may as well, just to help... Here, I'll do this. This will all be connected. It'll help to regulate the temperature throughout these whole blocks. This is hurting the speed. Let's suspend this for now. Um, come here. Ah! <gasps> I never synthesized drugs. Because you were a cult child, you won't make drugs. Oh! Now, this crafting won't give Palo any skill. But yeah, let's start doing this because... We have a bunch of stuff just rotting away. This, this is our panoxiclin, so we're going to make panoxiclin. And I think I already set the rules here. Yeah. So my pawns will try to take panoxiclin once every five days, which will help to prevent them from uh, getting certain diseases. Malaria, plague, something else I can't remember. So that's going to be good. And then, yeah, if we can make the um, more illicit drugs... And then we can go and sell them. We'll, we'll gift them. See, we'll just we'll just get these guys addicted. We'll give them a bunch of drugs. And then we'll become their dealer. And then like us. Mostly just want a trading partner over there. Yeah, we've got a lot of milk coming in. Our food situation is actually, like, crazy well-developed. Much more than I expected. It really, it really caught up or snuck up on me. Massive amounts of overkill there. Oh, yeah, I do have the, the barrel. You know what? I should just build our a mortar so it's ready to go in case we get raided. Um, I'm tempted to use some of the field over here. You know what? Yeah, we'll just we'll just get it ready over here. Can't be under a roof because it's got a fire. We'll probably want to put a shelf over here. Oh, yeah, we're gonna need um, we're gonna need our shells. High explosive shells. Um, I don't know what they stack to. 10? I don't know if there's a way to just spot that by default. I'm going to set it, like, because we do need a good amount when we are firing. I'll put in a job for 20. And what we'll do over here is we'll put a shelf to store them in. Because they will decay if they're out that side. But if they are on a shelf, they will not. Transport cloud crash. Oh, geologist named Soda. Let's see here. Okay, you do have some scars, which isn't ideal. You're also going to bleed to death very quickly. You are very neurotic. You would work really fast. You'd also learn fast. I don't... Yeah, I don't think we're going to have you brought in here. 
I'm gonna strip off your clothes. Not that we expect to get much value out of it, we'll see. We don't have a lot of steel stored up right now. And I think there's legitimately isn't really much steel just sitting around the map. So I think we actually do want to mine out a little bit more. Tiny bit there. What I should actually do is mine this area out and replace it with a proper wall. Okay, let me just do a little trimming there. But yeah, I'll have to do that. Actually, I guess what I can do is I can build this up and then mine this out behind it and then build the wall up behind it afterwards. Yeah, that's going to be okay. All right, making some components. That's another crafting job that is currently going on. Oh, wow, we burned through all our components. Well, we are making some, uh, some guns that definitely will eat up some more. You know, let's put in some art in this room. We does spend a lot of time there, and we'll probably have some more of our crafting stations moved over here at some point or something. I don't know. Just a little bit for everyone. Slightly impressive. You know, it's not great, but... Yeah, you see, your beauty meter is, is capped out here, which is wonderful. Yeah, gorgeous environment. See that? Makes a big difference to offsetting things. Okay, you're, you're at the hauling chunks. Yep, nothing for fob to construct, which is... Oh, actually, wait. Oh, we have no components. <laughs> oh, okay. When you build a shelf, by default in RimWorld, shelves are set to accept weapons and set to important priority, but that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for this to hold. Specifically, I want high explosive shelves to be stored over here. Thank you. Okay, weapons can go back over here. And who, if we were to hunt, it would be Darcy doing the hunting. So let's give her an assault rifle. Bigger range, should be easier to hunt with that. Oh, by the way, um, unless things have changed, fragmentation grenades, excellent hunting tools early on when, uh, you, if you don't have accurate stuff, very, very handy. Okay, our freezer is now being vented over here. You see that? That's terrible. Oh, Darcy doesn't haul. Hollow? Literally nowhere to store this. Okay, let me shrink this. Expand this. But yeah, we, we obviously have way too much stuff. Haul that. There we go, so that that door closes. It's interesting this door is closed despite there being beef in here. Alright, we got some fire. Oh, that's actually an annoying spot. Might kill some of that ambrosia that was still growing. It's not the end of the world. It also blew up one of our steel spike traps, which is actually super annoying. Okay, it's rotting. That's okay. And we have way more than we need. So dry thunderstorms are annoying because it does like to start fires all over. Usually, you will it will lead to rain. I think it just naturally evolves to rain. But also, if you do have um, an out of control fire on your map, Rimworld does eventually summon some rain to help put it out. So it might that might be the reason that you end up with. Um, with a rainstorm after the dry one. Yeah, I guess it just ended. But yeah, we'll probably get rain at some point because this is burning like crazy. <gasps> Exotic goods. Yes, please. I'm sure we've got some things we can do over here. I guess it's not part of the home zone. It's not being put out. That's going out on its own. All right. Let's go trade over here, please. We would like to sell... You know what? Let's sell five cows because we don't need that many right now but we are out of silver i'd like to buy all your components i might even get your advanced components we don't need that many but it's still quite handy it'd be lovely to have some glitter world medicine i could even consider buy more plastic although i have a good amount right now skill trainers okay but we can't wow you don't buy much from us okay so that's not going to work out at all let's not buy the glitter world or the plastic or the advanced components there we go we'll take a little bit of money and the regular components over here and call that good enough. I also want to sell the plasteel. No. Alright. Done and done. Slight relations boost just from trading at all. Okay, it is respreading a little here. Get that dealt with. There we go. And then I'll trim it back just so that we don't have unnecessary cleaning. Okay, birth, fire. I think the fire is gone and dealt with. Well, there's still fire over here. 
Again, still hoping for rain. Is that all there is? I mean, I suppose I could go and just try to put it out then. Meh. Let's just leave it be and hope for rain. Honey is sowing heel root. Good. Hallow, making the smoke leaf. Excellent. We have Panoxiclin as well. Visitor, who might have some tra things to trade? Or does have some things to trade, but not a lot. I don't, often I don't bother, especially once the colonies like started a bit. It, yeah, early days, you know, talking to someone, they might have a little bit of pemmican, they might have a little bit of herbal medicine, could be useful. There we go. Turret is set up, or the mortar is set up over here. Yeah, someone still needs to get the weapons off that, and then at some point we need to get the actual, uh, the actual shells being made. We'll put them up there, but just wait to scooch. Oh, this is drugs over here. Yeah, so we got Yayo. Yeah, times eight. So it is happening now. I think what we'll do is we'll we'll try to make uh we'll we'll get the Yayo made as much as possible, and then we'll go and make a trade caravan to unload some of this stuff. We could we have so much cotton. Maybe what I should do is temporarily put some sort of crafting job over here. Um, just, just, uh, to have extra clothes to sell. Now, the way the game is balanced, basically the amount of time and the amount of material that is used to make a good is used to determine its cost. So in a sense, everything is balanced. Now, some things might take less material, but more time, which might be better to make if you don't have a lot of cotton. Other things might take lots of material, but less time, which it might be good in this situation where we're just trying to burn off some cotton. The other thing to consider is some things don't use a lot of time or a lot of material, so you can make a lot of them. They're cheaper, but you make a lot of them. Again, it's gonna be balanced, but it takes a lot of uh, storage space. Um, what I'm gonna do, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some parkas. And, well, you know, I'll keep that little job there. I'm gonna do a bulk parka job. I will, I will make, you know, I'm gonna make 10 parkas. Um, and specifically, well, you can use leathers. Leathers and cloth is gonna be okay. Just to make sure we don't use anything more valuable if we've got it. We'll do that to sell. Maybe we'll appreciate the warm clothing. Winter is coming, so what the hell? Let's do it. Maybe I should maybe I should really do that every fall. Make a bunch of parkas and then sell them in the spring. Vitals monitor is done. I don't know what we we'll research next. Let me get back to that. But I definitely want a vitals monitor. Right there. I guess I can make end tables to increase comfort and stuff in here too. But the vitals monitor is going to be really good for stats. I wonder, actually, if I just put a little wooden end table right there. Okay, we don't have any wood store. Oh, there was some sitting around. I never considered. I don't usually include them in my hospitals, but maybe I should. Yeah, fiber, fibrous mechanites. I think the end tables increase comfort. Yeah. What does the dresser do? Like, what does it actually do mechanically? Small comfort on nearby beds. Placing more than one dresser. No. I guess we should have a dresser in the hospital, too. Just so the people that are sitting there are as comfy as can be. Yeah, I don't usually bother, but maybe I should. I, I'm slightly annoyed that it's facing the wrong way. It has no game impact whatsoever, but it's still annoying the heck out of me. Okay, research project. I could consider carpet making, because it, I mean... It looks pretty. I, I don't know how it compares to the beauty of the tiles. I guess I'll put a little bit down, or I don't even need it to be down. As soon as we research it, um, I think we'll get the info. Because the marble tile has a per tile beauty of one. Smooth stone, I think, has a two. If a carpet is higher than a one, it might be worth putting down some carpet in a few more places. Downside is it is flammable, but at least our walls aren't. And what I like is I like the splash of color that carpets add. I think it's quite good. Wart, meals, honey, walking. That's that's all fine. Okay, we don't have any more drugs lying out in the field, which may have meant some of it has rotted out, although I think we get messages about it, but presumably more of it has been converted. We got 12 Yayo there. I really expected we have more than that, but it does use a fair amount per chunk. We have lots of panoxiclin, which if we look at someone, you there you go, you've got your panoxiclin over here. Lovely. Malaria, sleeping sickness, and plague. Sleeping sickness might be one of the most annoying because it takes a long time to process. You go burn through a lot of medicine trying to prevent someone from dying from sleeping sickness. 
We have a lot of granite on the map, which is nice. But there we go. We've got our 400 limestone. I guess you probably are starting. Oh, no. I've got the granite suspended. Oh, but not here. So I should do that. Yeah. Just have limestone and marble blocks for now. That's going to be okay. I guess one of the things is if I start carpeting then instead of using marble tiles, then that will be more marble that we can turn into statues. Which can be sold or just used to, yeah, decorate the heck out of everywhere. Keep the moods up. Yeah, very impressive dining room. So those are going to be some good buffs. Because you're going to have very impressive dining room. And while you're in that room, it also, like, maxes out your beauty thing. Now, once they leave, it sort of goes down. Um, I don't know if you put some just some statues outside. Like, obviously, it doesn't add beauty to the room. I wonder if you still get a boost as you're near it. Because that's something to consider. Especially if you do three wide hallways. In your intersection, you could put little statues in the middle of them. That would look quite nice. A little plaza. See, Fob's cranky. Yeah, you're still in serious pain because you've got those mechanites. That does not help. And you still remember your friend died. That's still going to be around for a while. You have a decent bedroom. Um, Fob, where is your bedroom? Right down here. I think the next time I get a statue, I'm going to put it in Fob's room. Actually, maybe I'll put this one in there. Give Fob some good buffs. Also, we're going to smooth the wall over here. There we go. Add some more beauty to the room. Maybe we can get you to the point where you think you have a very impressive bedroom. Yeah, it's only decent right now. Not even any levels of impressive. Because, um, where's the beauty viewer? No, that's fertility. This one? Yeah. Uh, you can see the walls have negative beauty. Minus two. Um, I think... Yeah, minus one from un, from just any random rough stone floor. Minus two from the rough walls. Which actually turns into a positive here, which is nice. And yeah, I don't think the walls... Huh. Can I change material from here? No. Um, if I go here and ask for a marble wall. See, marble walls have some beauty. But it is a lot of material. Marble is also very, 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 very soft. So it's not good as a defensive thing. doesn't matter as much for these internal rooms. It's still fireproof, which is really kind of all I care about. Not really worried about defending raids. It would be a very bad thing to use for your defensive walls because A, you're wasting beauty material, and B, it's soft, so that would be bad. Limestone and um, uh, granite is where it's at for the fence. Granite being the hardest, limestone being second hardest. Let's build this in here. So Fob's room, oh, has reached somewhat impressive. That's gonna help the mood. Oh, and that's with the statue in here. It's still only somewhat impressive. It's very beautiful, and that's nice. And while you're in the room, so right now, see, the beauty doesn't change while you're asleep. Here's where it would be. If Fob is spending time in the room just, like, relaxing or praying or, or whatever, they will get the full beauty modifier. But we may have to add a second statue in here just to make things as impressive as possible. We can also experiment with the carpeting. All right. So shields are good for um rain or melee people because um yeah with a shield belt you can't shoot out but it's great for melee do i just want to make the push-up to recon armor if we can get all of our people in recon armor we are going to be super tough and tanky i don't usually get this far because i'm playing with so many mods or so many things to research yeah, let's, let's get started. Uh, you know, hold on, hold on. I'm going to do prosthetics first, because if someone does lose something, we're going to want that option around, which is going to be good. There's all our... Wait, I'm sorry. Am I making jackets? Oh, for crying out loud. I'm terribly sorry. Parkas. Parkas is what I'm supposed to be doing. Well, the jackets we can just sell. Well, I don't tend to... We don't need to wear jackets. Dusters are, like, really the, the, the best thing for people to wear as outerwear. Unless you need the warmth from the parkas. I'm not being told we need warm clothing. Maybe the jackets count as some amount of warm clothing. Insulation cold. I mean, it helps some. But yeah, we'll get some uh, some parkas. And yeah, we can just sell these things. Again, we might just caravan. Especially, um, maybe what I'll do is I'll plan. Yeah, I'll build all these. I'll get all these parkas. We'll get some spares. I'll plan on caravanning in the spring. Oh, there we go. We got the need warm clothing. It is, yeah, it's below zero. Uh, that's an unfinished cloth parka, which is fine. If we had an unfinished 
jacket. Sometimes what I like to do is I put a stockpile for all un unfinished goods, which actually I'm going to do now. I'm going to put a little stockpile right over here, just in the room where we're working. Clear all. It's going to be important for unfinished. Literally everything unfinished will go there. It's a quick way to tell at a glance um, what's what's working on it. And sometimes you end up with an unfinished project it's just sitting somewhere, using up material, using up one of your store storage slots that'll never be done because it's being made by someone who's maybe they're dead or maybe they're just someone with a low priority on crafting. So they're never getting around to finishing it. So you might just want to cancel it, free up the material and let someone else go at it. Okay, we can use extra people in here to eat our food. Speaking of food, there you go, Fob, binging out on food. There you go, that's fine, we got lots of meals. Don't worry about it there, Fob. I mean, we're still way above our limits over here that we're targeting. Bill complete, make assault rifle. Yeah, because we made, I think I was just making two. Let's see. Okay, Darcy's got the assault rifle already. Does someone else have two digit shooting? Bob's nearly there, but they're freaking out. Um, Vort here, we're gonna go and equip it to you. There you go. I'm gonna not make any more assault rifles right now. It gives us a couple of people who can engage at long range, maybe draw people in. Um, but I'm not gonna add more. We'll get the high explosive shells going on and you know, just keep the material for other things. The break has nudity going on. What are you missing? You took off your pants? Well, we must have pants. Yeah, there's, there's some pants sitting somewhere. You just have to go around equipping it. Unless it's not in a stockpile properly. No, but then it wouldn't be counted, I don't think. Yeah, we're not counting equipped either. And they'll they'll reevaluate. Where the heck are they? Squint mode engage right there. Oh, it's only 55%. Oh, wait, hold on. Do I have a quality? Yeah, no. Okay, so there's some pants somewhere with at least 80% quality. I just can't see it. Nope. I got nothing. Oh, well. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, I hate that there's so much just garbage sitting around. I mean, banking a bunch of clothes is brutal like that because it doesn't stack. So, yeah, that's definitely going to be an issue. Uh, Darcy is idle. Wow, nothing to clean. Nothing to hunt. Some stuff's rotting away. That's okay. At least you're having a little bit of fun right now. Okay, prosthetics is done. Um, yeah, go ahead and get started on recon armor. It's a long, long task. But I think that's going to be okay. Fibrous mechanites. Seriously? It's just That's just a random event that can happen. Nothing we can do about it now. Yeah, needs tending. Well, here, go, go over here, and we'll get someone to come take a look at you. I don't know if we'll do a rest until healed, but at least if you're in bed here, someone should come and, and medicalize you. Maybe. Yeah, Vort and Honey. There we go. Okay, now they go up. Yeah, um, with the bed rest command here, if they have an actual injury, they'll stay in bed with some of these diseases. Some of them, I believe they will also stay in bed, like maybe the flu, but I don't think the mech knights do because they're such a long-term thing. It's not a building immunity thing. I think maybe staying in bed helps, but maybe I'm just thinking of sleeping sickness and flu. Maybe the mech knights, the bed staying doesn't matter. Yeah, keeping up those components. We have, a, we have some extra advanced components, which is nice. I think come spring, we'll do a big trade caravan. Oh, I was gonna say, oh my God, what great timing. We got a mortar up for the first siege. Although I don't think we've got any ammunition for it. Let's, um, let's make sure that everyone is on the inside walls. Well, actually home is probably fine. Depends on exactly where they set up. Now the siege, you know what? It's gonna be great. Cause we're gonna be putting a cut in here. Let's um, figure out where they're gonna stop. They're gonna set up somewhere. They're gonna build a little base, there we go. And they're gonna build mortars, as you can see here and here. So they're gonna build those up and then they're gonna start mortaring our base. There are a couple of different ways we can handle these sieges. First of all, we can mortar them back. That's first. Second of all, what we can do is we can try to engage them from fairly long range. 
you know, and just pluck them off, especially if we've got a good sniper with a sniper rifle, very long range. Or we could just, third of all, I suppose, is just charge in here. Um, if they take a certain amount of damage, they will charge the base. So if we just mortar them or snipe them from long distance, eventually they will go, and it'll be great because they'll run through our kill box, which is okay. Um, I would really like to engage the whole group at fairly long range. These are relatively well armored and armed people. Like we've got helmets going on. They've got flak vests. Yeah. Um, so they're armored about the same as we are and armed about the same. I think we have more people that have more high quality guns, although a lot of these are shorter range things without the assault rifle. Uh, my preference would in fact be to just siege, you know, to re-siege them. Um, the problem is we don't have more barrels. What I can do is I can prep. If we do get more barrels, make some more of these. But we don't even have the um, the shells to go and hit them. So, well, we're going to put a cut in here. And we're going to figure out how to deal with these guys. I think we might have to go and try to just engage them in a straight up fight. I don't like our odds, though. If we were allied with someone, we could call in for some help. But unfortunately, we are not. That's going to be very tricky. We'll see how we deal with it next time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.